guys and welcome to yet another speed build happy wednesday slash friday um yeah i'm back with another speed build feels kind of weird to be doing this again but uh yeah this is another one that i built last month it was for my current household so spoiler alert they have totally outgrown this apartment already but it was kind of nice to build for my current gameplay and kind of ha almost have a brief because I was building for my current household. Uh, I found, I think it was like a member of Blackpink. I know Blackpink, but I don't know anything about them, like K-pop. Um, and I think they're called Jenny Kim. And so yeah, I took that sim from the gallery and I used them as my current household. Um, I played with her and she is a style influencer. I didn't have a be a musician. I, I wasn't keeping the black pink vibes. I was, it was just my base sim, so I wasn't carrying on the backstory. Um, but yeah, I, she's a style influencer. She's at the top of the career. She is totally badass. And, uh, I think she just, just had a kid when I was building this. Um, she was just about to have a baby and or she just had a baby i think she just had a baby the baby was still a baby and not a toddler i play on the long lifespan so we have quite a bit of a while from birth to toddlerdom uh so yeah i was i was doing this it was gonna be for her and her well actually i think she was at this point when i was building it they were still kind of not living together and um so I have like this dream save, well, it's not a dream save, it's kind of a save that I have lots of builds already placed and I normally what I do is I find this save, I save a copy of it and then start playing but instead I decided to go into the last one I played and just save another copy and carry on playing or I think I might have just carried on playing and not saved a copy and just carried on. So like none of the original townies are in it anymore, they're all died. My default normal save has all the original townies, but it's got like all nice new places and venues to go to by Genba. I don't even use my own builds. <laughs> I use someone else's, it's quite funny. Um, so yeah, I have that all populated, but instead I decided to use this one. And I have MCC command center and it has like normal like story progression in terms of it marries off your sims and they have kids and stuff like that. Um, so basically I went to go and play with with this, this new sim, Jenny, Kim, and everyone in the world was married. So she had to be a little bit of a home wrecker because there was no single uh, sims in the world. And I didn't want to go to the gallery and just download like these perfect people again. I just, I just She'd already lived quite a bit of a life, you know, and if you download them from the gallery, they're going to be like on day one of young adult. So I thought, no, we're going to find an existing sim in the world and we're just going to pretend they have a very terrible marriage because we don't want to be homebreakers. That's not part of the storyline. But anyway, she's with this guy for a very long time, um, ended up convincing him to leave his wife. I think he already had a child with someone before he was married, but he didn't have any kids with his wife. Which is, you know, just a little bit odd. But anyway, uh, yeah, so they are now living together in this place. Uh, I decided he was gonna be, what was he gonna be? Um, he's an engineer. Yeah, I decided to do robotics, the, the whole robotics uh, engineering skill that came with Discover University. I'd never done that before, so I decided to use that for him. So she's a style influencer. But what I was really doing is, so they've totally outgrown this. They actually have another child now. Uh, they have a boy and they have a girl and they are both toddlers. Um, I think the little boy in a couple of days is going to age up into a child. But yeah, in this one, it ended up that this place had to accommodate two toddlers. So uh, the kid's bedroom that you see, which literally just had a crib, is going to end, like, through my gameplay, ended up having two toddler be beds in there. And then they just outgrown the place. It's only got two bedrooms. So I ended up making another build, which is the build 
uh, the second build for this week and that's their like upgrade and I've just earned enough money to move them into this upgrade. I had to earn like another 100,000 um, for them to afford it but luckily um, she makes a lot of money at her job and she just gets promotions all the time. She, she has the workaholic trait and she just goes to work and works hard and just gets bonuses all the time. She can also call up and negotiate a bonus. So she just does that and she does painting and she, load is basically. Um, so yeah, I managed, so that'll be the second build, but this one, it, they kind of have similar vibes, but I have decorated them differently um, so this one as I say I've, I've been using my brownstone windows and doors in quite a few builds this month uh, that's including this one so yeah this is uh, part of build month so this is on early access at the moment on my patreon the um, download link thingy is in the description um, and this only uses my content and uh, the collabs that I have with Felix Xander. So all of that will be linked in the download post. You'll be able to click there and get them all. And that everything is currently already available to public. So no early access stuff in the build itself. But the build is early access. Oh, what a shame. But yeah, um, so build month is 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 in full swing now i still have like next week i don't think i have my my any finished builds or no i do i do have a finished build and there's another build i have to finish um so we're just kind of playing the the the, the catch up game a little bit on the builds uh but tomorrow as I'm talking now, which would be Thursday, is the trailer. Um, I got sent a little secret postcard and it was like, you can't say anything until the, what was it? The seventh? Yep, so I got a postcard. I'm looking at it now. Uh, it says, greetings from Henford on Bagley. And on the back of the postcard, it says, dearest friends, we are so pleased you're joining us in Henford or Bagley. I'm sure you will enjoy the quaint countryside life. Do come visit us at our garden store when you arrive. A&A Crumple Bottom. P.S. I heard the mayor talking about a worldwide tourism video for Henford on Bagley, premiering June 10th at 8am PT on www.youtube.com forward slash sims. How exciting. I love the extra bit at the end. How exciting. You're meant to be excited, okay, when you read that. Um, but yeah, I received this. Um, I chucked it in front of my bunnies and said to pose. And <laughs> posted that to uh, Twitter. So I am going to plan on doing a little trailer breakdown reaction thing. So if you're a patron, that you have that to look forward to tomorrow. And if, if you're a regular YouTuber, um, that already happened. So yeah, you, you know about it, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I am definitely getting British AF vibes about this place. So you know uh, that I'm gonna be doing some, some builds that are British AF to accompany said place. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Video's still gonna be coming for it when I get early access as well. I'll be doing some builds for it. Um, with, if I get early, early access, then it will be like just base game plus the new expansion pack. So console guys, you're gonna get some builds for that. And then when I get super early access, I'm gonna switch straight to using CC as well because um, I'm all about that life right now. I don't need to restrict myself. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to like discovering everything there is to know about it and actually watching the trailer and seeing if it is farming, like proper farming, like how much detail there is in it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, back to this one. Um, as I said, oh yeah. This build has two, yeah, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and this first version of it has a crib in it, but if you swap that out, you can literally just swap that out for the toddler bed that came with, that came with Tiny Twavelers, 
which is what I did for my own gameplay and you've just got yourself a toddler bedroom so I kind of was conscious of doing that bedroom to link to, to not be so restrictive and you could easily change it to a toddler bedroom um maybe not a kids bedroom but you can definitely update it to a toddler and you know babies aren't babies for that long in the game it's very very quick i do play like on a long lifespan so i have a bit more wiggle room but um yeah i just have to say you have no idea i've cut the footage out i think but i put these blinds back in place on these windows five million times using the tool mod because if you change any wallpaper or do any extra wall in this place they disappear and i just kept putting them back i didn't i just for some reason i just kept putting them back and then i realized that when you guys place this build anyway you don't even get the damn blinds they just disappear so um yeah you will have to put those back those are from my first pet stuff i think those that's the only item i've used from that pack um so maybe it won't even say that it requires that pack because i don't think it transfers with the build yeah i don't think it does but um i still stick with i i like it for the blinds there i think we've come a long way now we can like evaluate we have the new latest was it dream home decorator pack come out and i was saying like i didn't really like the objects and like looking back i kind of i kind of normally like something but the dream home decorator just not for me it's really weird that i had such a such a no reaction to it and I think like from reading your comments on my video when I was talking about it and just thinking about it again, I really do think it is that when I look at the items from that pack, I just feel like they're a little bit unfinished. Like they're just waiting for the final pass of details to be added. And I know it's a Scandinavian is a simple style, but I feel like they're still just missing details. Like for example, in um, the collab that we did for the living room, that was Scandinavian, very much influenced by Scandinavian design. And I feel like it had more, has more details than the dream home decorator pack, which is weird, which I didn't expect. But, um, yeah, speaking of the, I told you, I really do rate, I think they have great skills when it comes to their items normally like the details and I'm just like you know second to none there they are serious professionals doing it not me that is just like mm, can I do this and kind of fumbling along um so yeah I decided that I'm going to kind of go on a course and like learn this stuff from the ground up like I really am fortunate now to be in the position where I can afford to buy myself some more education and I'm telling you guys I love learning like if I could I would have been at university for the rest of my life but um yeah I'm gonna do like online school so I'm gonna even learn how like Maya again I use Maya for 3d modeling and I feel like I don't know half of the tools in there and I think if I did know the tools I'd be quicker and more efficient and have nicer looking meshes than I already do. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go on a course of that. I'm gonna pay like for one-on-one -on -one tuition and then hopefully I get like, it's with a place that uses industry mentors, so the people that do this for a living, they know what they're doing. So I can kind of ask questions that I feel like I can't even ask a regular, like any other CC creator. Um, like they're proper professionals know what it takes um what the standards are to put assets into game so yeah i'm gonna do that and then hopefully maybe learn a few other programs so we're in this for the long haul kids we're 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 trying to improve and this is this is this is good this is very good it might mean less objects if i suddenly get all these skills and i want to add all this detail it might mean less objects but it'll mean better quality ones so i'm i'm here for it i'm not someone that believes it's got to be all about quantity of course 
as a creator when I'm putting stuff out and I'm saying, hey, this is $5 early access, I try and do value for money. Like I'm thinking, would I spend this much on it? Is it worth it? I don't really have a, I don't know, an item count, but sometimes I can look and be like, oh, there's not enough items. Maybe there should be more. But I think if I'm learning all these extra skills and I'm putting in all more detail, then it'll look a little bit easier on myself. But yeah, so this room here is, as uh, I think you can tell by now, is the little nursery baby's room that will easily turn into a toddler's room if you just swap out the crib for a toddler bed. Um, lots of tiny twabblers in there. I'm still so happy that we did that collaboration actually. It's, I think it's one of my faves. My ultimate fave for the collabs that we did has to be living room. Uh, sorry, living room because I don't know how to speak. Um, yeah, that has to be my favorite for just, we went all out on clutter pieces and um, I'm thankful that we pushed ourselves to do clutter pieces. Um, I've got to tell you that for me personally, clutter pieces are the most difficult thing that I could possibly do while making CC. Um, when we were doing the living room, I there was lots of I wanted to do lots of art pieces and lots of clutter. Now I was like, I'm going to tackle the art pieces and I'm going to do them all in the first week. Just watch me, you know. Felix was starting on the sofa set and I was going to do all the art pieces. I started doing the frames and started did a few swatches of art, and my brain was fried. I just had to take a break and do regular items and I get the same with clutter. Clutter is such a like small tiny attention to detail things that my brain gets melted. So I think I've had a few people ask would I ever do a clutter set. Someone asked on Twitter this week actually if I would ever do just a clutter set and the answer is no. <laughs> the answer would be no in terms of if I had to sit down for a month and just do clutter, I think I'd want to kill myself by the end of it. So that would be a no. Maybe it could be something that I worked on like kind of along the way. Maybe that would be possible, but that takes a lot of advanced planning. So clutter sets, not so much. I just, cause also like, I, I think I just get more enjoyment out of larger items than clutter. I know clutter is very important. It's kind of like when I used to make cakes, you could have cupcakes, you could have cookies, or you could have large scale, like three tier cakes. I didn't ever make cupcakes because they were <laughs> just, <laughs> like for the amount of time I spent on them, I didn't feel like I got a reward out of doing it. I was just like, okay, it's some cupcakes. And the same with cookies. Like there are people that spend hours decorating one cookie and I'm like no if I spend hours I want like an impressive outcome and that's what I the same with this I just like larger items rather than smaller ones but I'm happy we did all the smaller ones um so with each set though we always do like the collabs we always do more clutter than we would be able to do normally in like a month of our own CC because number one there's two of us and um yeah just because there's two of us so you get to do like a more fleshed out set whereas each month you're kind of in a race against time to try and get as many items in there as possible so you just saw the um home office of course you could change that if you needed a third third bedroom in here you could change that to a bedroom i think in the original apartment that was like a home office slash gym maybe or something um but yeah, I thought it was important to have a home office in this because she's a style influencer, she can work from home and she is a working mum. She didn't quit her job or anything, she still has her job after having kids. And I just wanted the flexibility of her being able to work from home. Also her husband, it ends up that like I put like a robotic station. That robotic station is huge, but it does actually fit in that. Um, office if I just slightly nudge the desk to the side I could put in a full like robotics 
workstation there and um, yeah so this has actually been play tested for once <laughs> because I um, because I played in it with, with my current household. The only thing is I got to remember, I know there's one thing is that that coffee table moves me moved back by half a, half a tile. And I, I haven't saved the, um, the apartment out yet. So I'm gonna go in, make sure that I move that half a tile back before I save the room and um, upload it and everything and package everything together. <sighs> but yeah. So it was kind of weird to be building again last month. It's weird because it's kind of, I'm so not used to doing it anymore. Um, I kind of half am thinking about building for myself rather than YouTube, if you get what I mean. Um, like maybe changing in the future. I know I don't have time to do all these like voiceover and and do builds for YouTube as well as doing CC, but sometimes I just want to build and you don't if you understand this. Anyone that's on YouTube will probably understand as much as you love building and of course you start YouTube because you love building and you want to share what you build with others. Um there comes a point where there's like this pressure to not move the camera too much. You've got to do this, you've got to do that. But it's really nice sometimes just to build without the camera rolling and see what you come up with. You can be a bit, a bit more adventurous uh, because you're not worrying about cutting out like random stuff. Like for example, if I did this apartment off camera, maybe I would be building in like three different rooms at once. Maybe I wouldn't have done each room by itself and continued on or, I would just approach it in a slightly different way. So I'm thinking maybe sometimes I might build off camera and still upload them and share them and maybe do like a fly through or something instead. Um, I'm not doing stop motion. I, uh, I once said I was gonna try it and then I thought about it and I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I do miss like I used to do fly throughs for every video and then I realized that fly throughs took I don't know I just had a no against fly throughs or I would I would dread doing them they were never that difficult but I would dread doing them they're always so amazing I never regretted doing a single one of them they always turned out looking awesome it's kind of like going to the gym you know where you're like oh I don't want to go to the gym I don't want to go I don't want to go and then once you get there you're like oh this is great it's fine it's the same with fly throughs um so I always would be dreading it, but I would never regret spending the time doing them. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. But I've got to learn as well. I told you I'm trying to learn. Oh, God, it's not enough time. If I could just like clone myself and become two people and then like one could have a life and the other one could just learn and do all the hard work, that'd be great. If anyone knows of anyone that could just clone me, please let me know in the comments down below very welcome anyway I'm just putting lots of pipes everywhere because you know this apartment this apartment though I don't think it has any locked in traits I don't think it's historical or anything um I must say the one thing that is annoying about living in apartments is the noisy neighbors like you'll just get the kids off to bed and then suddenly boom 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 there's music coming from the neighbor or you just see this bloody love hearts coming from and I'm like, really, are they that loud that you've got to go and bang on their door and tell them to start having woohoo all the time? Um, but yeah, that is the one annoying thing about apartment. Also, oh, they had a dog called Tammy. And um, yeah, she can't go outside to the toilet herself. Even if you let her out, she still can't find her way downstairs. So you have to say, so I keep on having to say, take her on a walk and then she does her business then you can't just let your pet out so that was also another thing while I was like racing against everything I had to try and get them out of this apartment into the next house that I built so the dog could just go out and pee man <laughs> because um yeah the dog wouldn't go out and pee 
and it was constantly saying that she was like running away because she was depressed and all this stuff and the dog would never leave because it can't find its way out of the apartment and it was just too much hassle to take the dog out of the apartment downstairs wait for it to do its business pick it up come look she's got two kids she can't be dealing with that stuff um i have to say like having two kids in this game it's like hard work Imagine what it's like in real life if it's like this in the game. Literally, she was just like, it was on, she was on a treadmill. It was wake up. Um, she had to update her social media. She'd do that twice. That's her daily like task. She'd do that. She'd get the kids ready, get, feed them, do all this. Goes out to work, comes back. She's exhausted. She does more kids stuff, puts them to bed. She paints a little bit to earn some more money. It's like, all she, it was, she was doing nothing. Anyway, I ended up taking them, I think just as we were about to afford to move into the next place, I took them on holiday and the kids stayed at home. <laughs> so I actually took them on holiday to that Villa Lombok that I did last week. That was their holiday destination and they went there uh, for like four days or something. I was just like, no kids, great. And by the time they finished there, um, with their paid time off, they could actually afford to move into the next place. So. Um, I'll pick up with them later. But anyway, screenshots. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll be back with another build in two days time. Bye guys.